Well, all righty, here we are, live, <laughs> in front of nobody. Uh, first of all, before we start, I want to thank everyone that did buy tickets to uh, come to the venue and sit in the crowd. Um, I must admit, Herman's Jazz Club has done an amazing job here. If, if you could see the, the, the room, they've got plexiglass in front of all the tables. They've done all the proper protocol, and it's a big fat drag that, you know, two days before the show, and all the shows this weekend, they did so much preparation and getting the food ready and uh, the promotion, all that kind of stuff. And it's, 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 it's a tough one. So uh, we had to make the decision, are we going to come down here and still do it? Drive from Nanaimo, British Columbia to Victoria, an hour and 45 minutes, two hours and 45 minutes if you stop at the Cobblestone Pub. Um, and we decided we want to do it because we want to rock. We haven't rocked as a three-piece rock unit since May. I think we did a, a live stream in May, and before that was the beginning of March. It just it feels like two weeks ago. <laughs> so we're going to give her. And uh, feel free to donate. There's a donate button there. I think it's called artsonview.ca. Is that correct? The F is silent. But silent? Yeah. <laughs> Okay, artsonview.ca slash donate. But if you're watching on the Herman's page, then you should be getting it anyways. So we're going to give her. You call me a run man. With bones of the buffalo, you're crossing the border with the devil won't go. With the devil won't go. Then you get to the fire line, and I'll stop the rumble, some roll and a tumble, south and low. Damn dope. Well, I heard them say when the world gets rough. Well, I heard so much that I've had enough. Well, I see my blood like a rising blood in the rock in the mud. I'm gonna jump right out of my skin. This river keeps winding. In the rock, in the mud, I'm gonna jump right out of my skin. on the border where the devil won't go 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 where the devil won't go
calm down. Everybody, calm down. We joked during sound check that it'd be cool if we could bring in like a laugh track after every song and just yeah, people chuckle along with us. Oh, guitars are a tune. Imagine that. We haven't played it in six months, so. I'm going to do a song. My buddy Mark Stenzler played this on his uh, radio program on Switzerland the other day. And he had never heard it, but it's a Canadian classic. It's a cover tune. You might recognize it once we get into it. It was something like this.
giving her. It's been so long since we played, since we've been allowed to play. I actually had to practice. I've never done that. That was weird. I remember when my son was about 10 years old and I was in the back room playing some guitar and he walked in, he goes, Dad, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> he had never actually witnessed it. So. And that's what makes it such a bummer too that the crowd can't be here because I actually was prepared. But here, since I figured since we haven't played in so long, might as well play songs we haven't played in a while. <laughs> Let's do the title track off an album. Not the last album, but the album before. The album's called Vicksburg Call, and so is the song. And it uh, goes something like this. Thank you. 
my phone into the ring, so I decided to head on up. Pour four fingers of bourbon into my old tin cup. Lord, I flew right by the watchman, cause I knew I couldn't afford to slip up. And I could see shadows in the night Lord, I come too far to give up And I wasn't going down without a fight Then I saw him cock the hammer In the glare of the cold moonlight Well, now two blasts of bloodshot Made me up against the wall Waiting on that Pittsburgh fall Yes, I heard her call my name and I began to crawl Waiting on that big fur call Waiting on that big fur call Waiting on that big fur call Yeah! All right. What's that? Oh, I'm hallucinating again. <laughs> By the way, folks, we got Tom Bowler doing sound out there. Sound for y'all. It's quite a thing. And um, it'd be interesting to find out where people are, are, are watching and listening from. I know that uh, we're on Pacific time, so it's a little bit later for the folks back east. And I know that uh, when I announce this, there's some people in Holland and uh, Germany and Norway that want to watch. But it's 4.30 in the morning there, or 5 in the morning probably by now. But don't worry, this is all going to be archived on a YouTube channel. And uh, if you go to my social media, I suggest that you join my social media, by the way. It's amazing. It's, it's the greatest social media ever. <laughs> no one comes close. You're very lucky I have social media. <laughs> but... Um, Join my Facebook music page if you haven't done so already. I'm on Twitter and Instagram and all that kind of stuff. But we'll post a link to the YouTube channel. So if you didn't get to watch it tonight, you can watch it in the near future. And guess what? You can actually donate on that channel. So you don't have to donate tonight. That'd be great if you did. But you can donate tomorrow. <laughs> and uh, yeah, that kind of stuff. Have my priority of uh, the other priorities. You can do a walk. <laughs> yeah, do Get a your walk. water while you're still warm. <laughs> well, thank you. <laughs> I like how you made the water look like a, a shot of tequila. That was great. Thank you. So yeah, if you're on the social media, let us know where you're tuning in from, because I want to know. A couple of the, the live streams I've done in the past, we've had people from all over, so that's super duper cool. Just trying to find my cheat sheets here. <laughs> so here's one from the, the most recent album. The album's called 17 Vultures, and this song is called Thanks for the Distraction. Working so hard every 
There, Tommy, doing a couple of moves. guitar was in tune when I bought it. There we go. <coughs> oh, cheers. <laughs> <laughs> we'll do a song off of an album called Come On Down. And uh, it was a fun, fun record to make. You can go to davidgoga.com and check out the selection 
of the albums I've made. And then go, mm. there they are, yeah, they're there. <laughs> but we'll do this one, this one's called I Call Your Name. In the middle of the night So I went to rehearse that song, and uh, I went, oh, how does the solo go again? And then it, this is an open tuning. It's a five-string open G that Keith Richards likes to do. And I went, oh, I, I, I don't have a slide. I better go get a slide and learn that solo again. And instead, I made some toast, I guess, and never came back to it. Or did you smell <laughs> toast? I didn't smell toast. <laughs> I asked. I did smell toast during the solo I just did right now. More slides. <laughs> 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 
So on the bass guitar, oh no, I'm, yeah, on the bass guitar and the vocal, we have the lovely Marisha Devoin. And I'm back there on the drums and the vocal, we have uh, Gordon Grant Baird III. Um, yeah, so, so, you know, playing on Vancouver Island, where I grew up, big history, playing in Victoria, we used to play a great club when I was a young man <coughs> called Harpo's. We got to open up so many shows for people like Albert Collins and Coco Taylor and Buddy Guy and Junior Wells and on and on. It was cuckoo. And uh, I've been very fortunate in my career to open up for so many wonderful artists like that. And people like Johnny Winter as well, and you know, on and on. But three different times in my career I got to open up for Mr. B.B. B. King. And in fact, I even op uh, got to play on stage with him in Montreux, Switzerland. And it was the craziest thing. It was for the encore of his show. I think Big J. McNeely was there, Ruth Brown was there, and... Um, all sorts of people, but at one point, B.B. King said, let's bring all the guitar players to the front of the stage, and the three guitar players were Otis Rush, B.B. King, and me. I was 21 years old, so that was over 10 years ago, and, uh, <laughs> I know. <laughs> and, <laughs> but the last time I opened for B.B. was back home in Nanaimo, uh, it was less than a year before he passed away, and um, he was 89 years old, still giving her, and when he went to leave the venue, I thought, you know, this might be the last time I see this fella. So I came up, shook his hand one more time, and thanked him. And he asked for one of my CDs. So I quickly ran to my dressing room, came back with a CD, and handed it to him. And he said, well, you got to sign it for me, dude. So I'll never forget signing to B.B. King. Good luck with your music, David Gogo. So, uh, yeah, we weren't friends after that. But no, we'll do a B.B. King song for you right now.
crazy. <laughs> the crowd goes bananas. <laughs> yeah, at least you don't do that fake, the fake crowd noise like the hockey game, hey, Tom? Yeah, that was terrible. Do you know what the thing I hate the most? I mean, when we play music live, having the audience there, we feed off their reaction. That's, you know, so I, I really miss that. But you know what I, I miss the most is the fact that we had to refund all the ticket money from the people that, that paid to come down here tonight. So uh, if you're watching online, this is not the Edgar Winter Band. We do not encourage you to take a free ride. Uh, if you find it in your hearts and you got the cash, that would be great if you're enjoying the show, uh, if you could donate. And so where you're watching, there's, there should be information, but it's artsonview.ca slash donate. Yes. Or you could just stop by my house on Monday and... Uh, It's actually happened too many times for my comfort <laughs> in the last year or so. <laughs> Got some good stuff, but okay. So now we are going to go back a couple albums again. Oh, and by the way, if you haven't checked it out already, uh, I, just before the pandemic, I decided to start doing a podcast. Um, it's called the Soul Bender Podcast. Just talking about all the kooky stuff I've done in my career. Uh, you know. When I, before the last song, I talked about B.B. King. So you know, every episode, I talk about um, how lucky I've been getting to meet all these great people in the music world. And uh, check it out anywhere you can uh, find your podcasts. Soul Bender Podcast. I think I remember this one. What's that? Yeah, it's just me and Lenny. I wrote these songs. Doesn't necessarily mean I know them. Prove me wrong. Got a funny feeling. 
you do it all alone You see with pleasure, then you make me moan The pain you bring that cost me to the bone All right, yeah
Feels so good feeling good again. Where'd everyone go? Um, what else was I going to say? Something, something really important. Oh, it's great to actually, oh, we got an audience, an audience of one. And I think she's a bartender. <laughs> oh my goodness. Is that just for us? A personal, like, like one of those things at the House of Blues where you, you get a, a little special room with a special bartender and if Phil Spector's with you, he murders her later? Ouch. That was a joke. Actually, it wasn't a joke. It's, it's an actual factual tale. So you don't get on my ass about that, people. Do you know who was playing at the House of Blues the night that Phil Spector took the ill-fated hostess back to his Pyrenean castle and allegedly murdered her? Johnny Winter. What? I'm not even kidding. Johnny Winter and the band. Yeah, and they, they were taken into questioning. And uh, yeah, there's a fact for you people. That might be on my next podcast episode. So even though there's no one in the audience, we still got dressed up for the gig. But I refuse to lose the white whiskers. I mean, I'm just, when I got the call the other day that all the gigs were canceled, because I had a couple of gigs. I was all excited. I was like, yay, I get to play music, which is what I do in my life. And I was going to shave off the white whiskers, and then I got the call. And nope, I'm bearding it up for the winter. Bearding things up. We're gonna beard that up. <sighs> okay. So I think there's some people watching in the Kootenays, because on social media I was pushing this pretty hard. And um, so we're gonna do a song for the people up in the Kootenays and dedicate it to Kaylee. Kaylee. Oh my goodness, my Guinness. <laughs> People online, just I want to let you know that heaven has sent an angel down from the bar. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. Wow. And I Angel, thank you. So beautiful. It's just for my voice. That's just the weird thing is I'm not used to. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> just uh, completely abandon the fucking thing. Right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I did that with my cord. We've completely abandoned the uh, live stream now. <laughs> Is that where it was? I knocked the kick drum mic out with my guitar, so. Yeah, so, Kootenays. I miss going up there. See, that's the other thing about being a musician, everything shut down, is we get to travel around and not only play for the people, but, you know, we've got friends. I've been doing this my whole life. You know, I've been doing this for 30 plus years, going on the road. And I, I miss going to certain towns. I miss, you know, going to southeastern Saskatchewan, all of Saskatchewan. I'm supposed to play in Shaunavan and Forger, all the big places. And um, but the Kootenays, man, that's, that's a, so, so beautiful up there. So hopefully, when all this madness is done, we can get back up there and and play for everybody. But in the meantime, we'll do this one for Kaylee.
what that did? Not unlike a young Peter Frampton, it made us come alive. Thank you very much. Oh, my goodness, my Guinness. Great googly moogly. Perfectly in tune as well. First time ever. Once again, let us know if you're tuned in, where you tuned in from. I'm not sure if you can do it here on uh, the, the Herman site, but you can go to my Facebook, Twitter, Twit, or, or Instagram, and uh, love to hear from you. I spoke earlier of playing in Victoria as a young man at Harpo's, another band that we got to uh, open for and then hang out with. We might have done like one or two nights with them and then maybe gone to Vancouver and played the town pump or something, but it was the beginning of a, a bit of a, a friendship. Um, I really uh, was into the, the band Savoy Brown, one of the cool British bands that started out in the 60s, blues and blues rock, uh, founded by Kim Simmons, and um, over the years ended up, you know, playing different festivals here, there, and everywhere. In fact, we used to do uh, Savoy Brown's version of uh, Muddy Waters' Louisiana Blues. We kind of revved it up, and I remember one time we were going to play at a festival, and we were supposed to go on right before Savoy, Savoy Brown, and we opened the set with... Louisiana Blues, and I thought, oh, shit. So I had to ask him, you know, we're backstage, and I said, you know, we opened this, and he said, I've heard, I've heard your version. He said, I heard it. But he didn't say yes, and he didn't say no. It wasn't until about five minutes before the show when he walks in, he goes, you have my blessing. So <laughs> thank goodness. But anyways, many years later, went to make the Vicksburg Call album and um, asked him to play on it, and he was uh, very graciously played guessed it on the track so that was so cool because when I was a when I was a little boy and if if Kim's watching I'm not trying to make you feel too old but um, you know I remember my uncle Danny had to go he got some logging gig in BC you know up the coast somewhere and so he was going to go for a couple months in the summer and, and, and cut down trees so he asked my mom and dad if he could keep his stuff in their basement while he was gone so he didn't have to pay rent somewhere and uh, part of the stuff well Basically, what he had was a stereo, a bunch of vinyl albums, and a leather vest, I think. So when I was a little kid, I'd put on that leather vest and plug in the stereo. And uh, one of the records was uh, Boogie Brothers by Savoy Brown. So it was so cool all these years later to have Kim playing the record. So I'll do the song for you. And Kim, if you're at home, please play along. <coughs> one, two, three. Are you fooling me, baby? Or have I just been fooling myself? Change your mind or I'll go and find someone else We were together so long, baby Then we had to part We were together so long, baby And then we had to part If I kind of change your mind, mama Please don't break
fighting for me If you're gonna change your mind, mama Please just let me be Let me be, baby Once again, Marisha Devoyne on the bass and the vocals. Gordon Grant Baird III on the drums and the vocals. And we have Tommy Two Amps Bowler back there on the sound. <laughs> Put them out, putting them out there on the interwebs where they should be. So yeah, having the rug pulled out from underneath us back in March, um, what can I say? I mean, I spent my whole life playing music and touring around. I had a, uh, a couple of projects lined up. I actually had a really good summer lined up. I was, <laughs> I was actually quite proud of myself. I was looking at my, my day timer, because I'm old, and I was like, ooh, look at all the shows. And I had planned a project with a friend of mine. We were going to cut an album together, and a, kind of a a duo acoustic album, and he had booked this amazing tour, 24 shows in 28 days in Western Canada. Things looked so good, I actually felt my big toe shoot up in my boot. That's how good I felt about 2020 until about March 12, I think. <laughs> but you know, you gotta stay positive. Uh, things could be worse. The thing that, that really worries me is places like this, like places like Herman's. Herman's Jazz Club has done so much to adapt and done so much to um, you know, acknowledge all the, the necessary protocol and we're still shut down or they're still shut down. Uh, so it's the venues. I mean, I, I, I got through the summer playing backyard parties and stuff, but it's the sound technicians, it's the lighting technicians, it's, it's, it's the venue staff, it's the venues themselves. And that's what troubles me. Um, so donate to me. <laughs> Actually, these guys want to get paid. So, so if if you can donate for the for the live stream today, that's great. We'll love you forever. No, we really do appreciate it. And um, because I had a couple gigs this month, and I was just I just sent a text to someone going, you know, fingers crossed that the new COVID restrictions don't affect my gig. Send, and all of a sudden, whoop, I get these two other text messages saying, wrong, wrong. But um, 
Anywho, we're going to play for you a bit more. What are we going to do? Oh! So in the meantime, yeah, so I try to, I try to remain creative. Um, I, I was writing like crazy when the pandemic first happened. I, I was lucky enough to get a little bit of uh, um, money from the provincial government, um, some arts fund money. So I went on a kind of a bit of a writing frenzy. So I, I've, I've got a whole bunch of new songs. And um, then I had a little bit of a dry spell, but it's coming back now. So I'm just going to keep writing songs and doing demos, because you can never have too many songs. So when it's time to make a new album, that'll be great. Um, I don't want to put a record out during the pandemic, because you can't tour it. You know, you can't, because that's the only way you can really sell albums these days, is to go out and, and, and play the shows. And the other thing I didn't want to do was I did not want to write any songs about the pandemic. I don't want to celebrate this goddamn thing. Um, no isolation blues, no keep your distance, any of that horse shit. And for the people that have, good for you. But <laughs> I just didn't want to because it's just such a bummer. And I think what people really, during this time, they want to go out and see live music. They want to go out and you know watch live music, dance with their friends, hug their friends kiss their friends, have a couple drinks, you have a good time. And we can't do that right now. And it's not like it, it, it's, it's, it's something that's, that's happened where all of a sudden like, we're redundant or we're, we're obsolete. That's not the truth. People want, the, the people want it. So um, I've written a lot of songs, but we decided to put a single out a few weeks back. And all it is is about a girl who likes to have a good time. It's about a girl who likes to party. And the song is called Christine, and I want to thank people that have been requesting it at radio. We've been getting some, some really good radio play on the blues stations and the internet stations and, and the community stations, and we're just slowly getting into uh, commercial FM radio. So if you have the time or the desire, please uh, request Christine uh, with your favorite radio station. Get them to play it. And um, I noticed today it, it's just about at 12,000 uh, Spotify plays, too. So I got a check for like seven bucks coming to me, is all I'm saying. <laughs> it's a new song. It's a new song, so I got to find the lyrics. You did it earlier. <laughs> oh, Had it marked it. Oh, there we go. Nope. <laughs> Not at all, actually. <laughs> so here it is. Here's, here's the new single without an album. <laughs> She gives me all I need 
to the short strokes, Tommy. How do these work, Tom? <laughs> That's a newfangled one, huh? There, I learned that song. Um, <laughs> Well, thanks, for, thanks a lot for tuning in, folks. We sure appreciate it. And um, we'll, we'll probably do one again in a couple of months. I, I really don't know. You know, it's so strange uh, what we're going through. Hope everyone's keeping safe, wearing their masks, and um, washing their hands or doing all that stuff. Um, once again, please join our social media. Uh, the Facebook music page is over 11,000 people now. Um, Instagram, Twitter, all that kind of stuff. And if you enjoyed what you saw tonight, it will be archived um, on YouTube. And there is links on the, on the Herman's uh, website, and I will put it on my social media as well. So for the people back east, or if you were um, working or whatever, folks in Europe that didn't want to wake up at 4 in the morning to watch it, uh, it will be archived. So I'll end things off with the cover tune. It's a song we recorded many moons ago, but we got some good airplay across Canada. <laughs>
Thanks for tuning in, folks. Marisha, Grant, Tommy, thank you. <laughs>